Hi everyone, welcome to this educational video on probably one of the most fundamental aspects of the game. That is your grip. So, what is a good squash grip? So firstly, I'd like to just um, discuss a little bit about um, where you should be placing the racket in your hands. This is really, really important. You don't want to place the racket across in the palm of your hands. Then you have like this kind of club-like feeling. So it will really, really limit uh, the sensation you get in the fingertips, which is very, very important. So if you're to lay your hand flat, then across, place the racket across the knuckles like so, rather than in the palm of your hand. This will instantly make the racket uh, and the grip sit more into your fingertips. Now, where should you hold it in terms of up or down uh, the shaft of the racket? So firstly, I don't teach for sure people to hold the racket too low down. and You don't need any of the hand hanging off of this grip. So I would recommend a more mid to high point of, um, of the racket to hold. Okay, so place it across the knuckles there. Let the racket sit around mid to the top point of the racket. As you see, I hold my racket quite high up. Uh, I generate plenty of power, and a lot of people do anyway, so I really like the controlling aspect of this. Now, remember the force. I've got a ball here in my pocket. If it hits in the middle of the racket, okay, like so, the distance of that force to travel to the hand is less the higher up the racket you hold. Okay, so this is why if you hold your racket higher up, you will have a more feeling of control because you're able to stabilize your wrist more. The lower down you hold it, the more possibility of having that flappy hand or not being able to control the force of the ball when it hits the racket as much, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, the next step really is also to understand um, that the fingertips should be quite spread out, okay? That gives plenty of feeling in the hand like so. And as you can see, they're spread out here nicely. Some people say about a little V shape here just to keep the space. Now, with that in mind, we're now gripping in the fingertips. It's now important to know that the squash grip should mainly be an open racket face, and we call it an open racket face. So I'm right-handed, so this is my forehand. Now, open is to come more around the back of the one underneath, a bit more, say, like people describe it, slide. So you keep the racket more open. Ball in squash is going lower and dying in back corners and going into the front corners. So the necessity to come underneath the ball is really, really vital, okay? Maybe you can play around with different racket shapes uh, if you're more of an advanced player, but we have a different series on that. This is just the main basics. So you really want to avoid having this top spinny aspect, which is where your racket comes over the ball like it did in tennis, creates more of a looping effect. It will also make the ball go down. And the lower the ball goes in squash, the more likely it will be to hit the tin or make a mistake. So keep this racket face nice and open on the forehand. Sorry, my face you or here. This is my neutral position. You can see slight openness. I take my racket back to the forehand. Now my knuckles are down. So they're pointed down. This is a good tip. Knuckles down. Come back to neutral position in the middle. Now I just slightly tip my racket back so that the knuckles are now pointing up for my backhand. And I keep that oval face there, uh, backhand side. So neutral, forehand, neutral, backhand. If you want it to slightly shift the grip a little bit to have it more open on the backhand, that's also fine. But I keep mine in a more fixed position so there's less uh, variables and less possibility for uh, mistakes or loss of bracket face control. All right? So have a good go at that. Best of success. Now you've got the first basics of the game to get started. Good luck.